How's it going, everybody? I thought today maybe we'd play something a little different. Maybe some uh, some of the Morgan. And we're against a, a diamond on her, dude. Oh, man. I've been finding a lot of on hers recently. Still not enough for me to quite ban him because on her is beatable. But, oh, man. Just a lot, a lot of on hers. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for a... We could go a Bumba's build, but then we could sacrifice the early game a lot if I do that. I think, it, I, I don't know. Tier 2 Bancroft's still a solid start, but against On Her, I still need some sort of survivability. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to press 4, right click on On Her's name, and that means that I have my ultimate on instant cast. And what that'll do is when I have my ultimate, I can just press 4 and I don't even have to open the wheel. Uh, so for people that don't know that about Morgan, it's super, 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 super useful to set up your ultimate beforehand. Uh, even in other game modes, especially, if you know you're going to turn into a certain god, might as well set it up beforehand to save yourself some time. Here's Madikin Zikvul. No surprise there. Don't want to step on any jellyfish now. My revenge. That's good. That's his clear. Alright, we're just going to leave and go for my blue buff. He has the early game because of Mannequin Zikvul. So that is fine. Um, I just want to make sure not to lose my own buffs. Playing it safe is fine. Plus, pushing that wave under his tower was good. <clears throat> He probably went for his own blue buff. There it is. Oh, Mannequin's kind of counters me. Oh, it didn't go off. That's okay. Did I already mention how much I hate the beach? I think what actually ended up happening was because I was spamming my ult, uh, it ended up opening the wheel anyways, rather than me just pressing it once quickly. Oh well. As you can see, Mannequin Zikvul's pretty dang fun. Pretty fun. It's man, I, I just cannot wait until Ikvul is nerfed as well. Uh, he obviously doesn't have Ikvul fully yet, but it's just gonna be so problematic to deal with. So what did he hit me with? One auto attack and his two? If he hit me with three autos, I would have pretty much died. With his red buff and hit that start. Uh, this is going to be kind of annoying until I get my Bancrofts online. I want to make sure he's not going to leap over the wall or anything like that. Okay, we're good. Okay. We may be first blooded, but, you know, I'm just, just taking it one step at a time. Honor is expected to win this early game, especially if I don't go mannequins myself. Uh, if we, If I did go mannequins, I feel like he would end up winning a little bit later on and mannequin is generally really good on on her because of his passive reduces my protections by 20 which makes mannequins do pretty much more damage so it feels pretty problematic yeah that does so much damage Thankfully, on her is not too hard to play. For those that are pretty much newer to playing Smite and maybe don't know Morgan's kit, uh, she probably has the most unique ult in most 
you know, MOBAs and stuff, and that is that she, when she alts, she turns into a god, which is pretty insane. I'm amazed they got it to work, uh, because when she came out, she was so buggy. <laughs> she was so buggy, but balance-wise, it actually wasn't that that crazy, to be honest. It's kind of insane to think about it. I think that's because they balanced it with the cooldown, which makes it fair. But, yeah. So, if he gets to use really, really good stuff as on her, then, hey, we get to use this, too. And he took Demon King, probably took it in a couple seconds, because Mannequin's pickable. That's okay. We can defend, because now we're even. We're actually ahead a little bit. We can't let him get our tower this early, though. That's for sure. That's annoying. Put another point in our ultimate so it has a sh shorter cooldown. Oh man, dude. Our child's is keeping us healed up, which is good. Super low health. This is good. Find a way to have fun. Even if I hit that, that wouldn't have killed. Your luckily, I, luckily because my tower is disabled, I actually don't lose any XP and gold here. So that's good for me. Uh, we'll probably clear this next wave and then we will recall. Get our breastplate of valor for some cooldown. All that good stuff. My revenge. No reason to stay since red buff's not coming up or anything like that. And we have successfully defended our tower, which is good. Probably going to have to start placing wards on Demon King when it when it comes up. Uh, looks like he's going Bulwark of Hope or something like that. Uh, what I can do is I can go to Typhon's Fang. I love Bancroft's Typhon's as a combo. But maybe I could... On the Morgan, you can go some auto attack. I probably don't want to do that since I didn't go Mannequins. We have a lot of build options here. Might even want to do more for some movement speed to kind of outmaneuver him. Something like that. Just kind of poking him out with the two. Two is a really good poke. of his health. There we go, dude. Honor's pretty damn straightforward god, dude. It does help that uh, out of all my hunters, I, I feel like I'm a pretty good on her. So it kind of helps with this type of matchup where I have to actually be able to play on her. Don't want to step on any jellyfish now, do we? That skin he's using is also pretty damn rare. I feel like not that many people have it because uh, it came out with a Summer of Smite event, but I think it was a, at a point in time where people were playing a lot of new games that came out, and not a lot of people ended up getting the skin. Uh, We probably... Yeah, you know what? I like the idea of a Doom War. I like the idea of a Doom Orb and a Sprint and all that good stuff and just having the ability to just zoom around and dodge everything. Because our, our kill potential really comes from our ultimate. The rest of our kit is kind of poke at this point. Uh, we we can't really get like too much damage right now. That's fine. I really want to place a ward on Demon King pretty soon. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Doom Orb also gives a huge amount of power, which is always great.
If he goes Aussie, we will get Divine Rune as well. He's not doing as much damage now that we've got Breastplate too, which is always good. We also have the cooldown where we're pretty much constantly poking him with our two. So yeah, just good, good spot to be in in general. I'm always juking to the right when I use my three, so I should probably start juking to the left. Otherwise, he's going to start realizing that. His mannequins also kind of counters my three. Because if he hits me with mannequins, I can't use my three. Otherwise, uh, it'll just take me out of my invisibility right away. So I have to kind of be aware of that. Is this blue buff up? No, because he has it on him. He's pretty tanky, though. And we can't forget that if we get him low health, the Orc of Hope's gonna pretty much keep him. Oh. <laughs> Try going around the other way. I really want this red buff when it spawns. That's kind of what I, why I'm still here. I am find a way to have fun. Yep. One thing is when your opponent starts recalling, you think you can go for red buff, you want to make sure they recall. Otherwise, they get a kill off of that. So I like to just kind of wait behind the wall to guarantee it. Because a lot of times they end up canceling it. Alright, he leaped away. There's no way he's going for this, so. We can also go get our blue buff pretty soon. However, we want to be aware that it is possible he comes back and goes straight for Demon King. He might be banking on the fact that I'm going to recall, which I do want to recall. But uh, if he goes for Demon King, we can't do that. All right, let's see. He's in the middle of lane. We've got time. Going to go for this. Again, he can take it so fast that um, it kind of causes issues. We are going to go Divine Ruin because we need anti-heal for his life still. Also, just gives so much healing. Oh, we both missed. Awkward. I'm not going blind into There we go, dude. Hey, GG's. Love minute game. I mean, I feel like, man, I, I was kind of hoping that game would play out because uh, it felt pretty even. Uh, didn't wasn't even able to get tower before you have six, but oh well. GG's all around. Uh, yeah, let me know what other gods you guys want me to play. I always like playing the weird gods, kind of the non-meta gods. I mean, Morgan's kind of meta. I don't see her too often anymore, but she's, she's pretty up there. But she's pretty fun to play. And here are the player stats. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, just let me know whether guys play and have a good day.